here is the the project so it's very easy um, to access the design menu bar with press F6 and uh, here is the uh, the PC views workspace that contains the graphical elements here and all the tools you need to develop a project including a various toolbar each of those can be dragged and docked to any outside edge of the workspace or just um, left floating anywhere on the screen which is very handy for uh, the designer so this project um, will show you the main features of PC view and uh, uh, we will also show you how to configure some of the, the, the main um, the main features so let's start with the OS so PC view does support Windows 8 and Windows 2012 as well as SQL Server 2012 and the configuration uh, of a project is uh, mainly done through three tools the application explorer which is the uh, the core for the configuration it's basically an element per element configuration tools including test and diagnostic features um, and with the application explorer you can basically configure almost everything for your project the application architect is um, the tool used to configure and to create uh, templates of objects and uh, an object is not only graphic but also variables uh, treatment actions or um, uh, archives configuration and so on so you can with the application architect create templates of different objects and then you can instantiate these these objects to generate um, a PC view project so uh, this tool is very handy when you need to uh, create and build different similar project from the same uh, type of objects uh, you don't have to uh, start from scratch but you can instead use different templates and uh, generate your project the smart generators are a tool to um, generate a mass configuration from uh, outside PC view so basically from third party or uh, in-house configuration tools so it could be very uh, useful to um, for example get a PLC platform configuration and uh, use it to uh, generate a PC view uh, tags database also you can use it to uh, import data from XML file for example or for um, other other product so all these tools make the make the configuration of a project uh, uh, quite easy and um, comprehensive so the application explorer uh, as I said is the, 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 the core of the configuration in uh, in your project and um, if you go to configure application explorer here you can see how does the application explorer look um, the communication section defines the way to acquire the data from from the field um, there are several communication methods possible in PC view including the industrial communication standard OPC many native drivers uh, here in equipment and specific standard for uh, IEC electrical management or loanworks and backnet for building management system also DDE which is um, an old-fashioned uh, OPC standard we could say from here uh, you define also the networking architecture of your project so if you run your project with uh, several stations uh, then your project define different stations here uh, the server station and the client station uh, as well 
PC view has um, a redundant mechanism so you can define an association of server station as shown here and automatically one of the server is active and get the data from the field and the other one is passive and there's um, an automatic uh, redundant switch between both server so if one of the server if the active server fails then ultimately the second server um, gets the communication with the field and feeds all the client stations. All the client stations um, get the data from the association, the association of the server. So this configuration uh, of the redundancy and of the networking is done through this uh, configuration here. The variable section uh, here defines the way the data is organized. It's the core of PC view containing a set of tags called in PC view variables. So as you can see in the variable tree here, um, the data um, uh, is organized in a hierarchical manner using a branch structure and uh, like here with different branch and different variable. So for example if you want to create um, your process variables database you can create a branch like my process within this process you can add different devices, different uh, elements of your project process like a tank tank one and within the tank you can define variables so PC view supports three types of variables bit for digital values register for analog values and text for text values so just for a simple example you can create a register like the level maximum value here command if you want to be able to command the level for you know just it's not realistic but uh, for a demo here you will define um, the source of the data internal or any communication source for a variable you can also define different uh, behaviors like a threshold uh, you can add the value for archive as a trend and you can define some event action like uh, event action to trigger a program or to uh, send a message SMS or email so for example if we create a threshold it's easy you just enter the value and ultimately a bit variable will be created to be triggered and to be set to the value 1 whenever the value which reaches the um, threshold value. Here we have the, the level. Within the tank you can also create another branch like a pump and within the pump a variable to control the pump for example. So this variable can be a command to be able to control hit value from the HMI and we can log it to uh, archive the, the value. So that's it for uh, our tank. Now if you want to create another similar tank you just have to um, copy paste the whole branch, change the name and you will have the same structure with tank 2, pump 1, level level high. So that's pretty handy when you want to uh, make a very similar structure for, uh, for a variable. And we will see how easy it is to make a template, an object template for this kind of structure with the application architect later in this uh, demonstration. So the application explorer is also used to define 
archives so it's <coughs> possible to record the data in different what we call archive units in PC views basically uh, you can record the data in different um, different format different uh, uh, database so it's possible to use a SQL Server database or um, proprietary files to record the data and then for a specific archive unit which is uh, basically um, uh, a database you can define a log filter to record all alarms or uh, event action like uh, login, log off of a user, send command, send uh, send register, um, any any events uh, are logged through log list. As you can see here, you can define a filter to record different um, events. So all the alarms, bit changes, and user actions. Also, you can define, as it's done here, different variable to be archived as a, a register, and these variable um, are also uh, recorded in the um, uh, database. So here you can see that for this project, we created one database here and um, so basically the database is a SQL Server database so it's a SQL Express database here so the size of the data recorded is um, depends on the size of your uh, hard disk and of your uh, uh, SQL Server uh, version so PCView comes with SQL Express version which is limited to 4 uh, gigabytes of data but obviously if you purchase uh, enterprise edition of SQL Server you will, you will, you will be able to uh, record more data it's uh, also important to note that you can uh, create some maintenance plans to be able to purge data from the um, uh, the database and uh, so there's different task so you can from PC view purge export defrag or shrink your database um, on a schedule uh, basis also different treatment action like event action or cyclic action so basically events and cyclic action are uh, just program you trigger um, uh, on value change value and cyclic action on um, a specific period of time here in, uh, in second also you can send email or uh, SMS on trigger and you will define here also the user accounts with profile and user but we'll see that uh, later in this uh, demonstration so that's it for the application explorer um, uh, another important tools for the design of a project and uh, for the debug is <coughs> the um, audit and diagnostic tool um, so PCView does have a built-in tool for monitoring data flow and uh, all system uh, counters uh, about the memory of the system and all these kind of counters uh, with a graphical view to uh, show the, um, the flow uh, so this tool is uh, very useful to uh, optimize the performances of your project.